So it's Michelle Kern here, and I'm here to show you a little bit about how you do it yourself if you are in need of a ceramics tool and you left yours at the studio and you are in a shelter in place situation and you cannot go and get your tools. So as I mentioned, I left my Cheryl mud tools at the studio, which is a huge loss. This is a big part of my workflow. Um, I've tried to use different tools in my box and I'm just not happy. I ordered a couple of Cheryl mud tools on Amazon, but they're not going to be here for another near week. And I really want this to happen. So I looked around the house and what I found was this rubber drain stopper that um, has never really worked well to stop drains. But it uh, looks like it's going to do great as a new ceramics tool. So what I've done is I've taken my scissors and I've sliced off the part with the hole, gotten that out of the way, and then I cut it in half and I'm going to take this part that I haven't worked on yet and go around the edges just like I did on this guy. Okay, so we see we've got this nice shape here, our classic rib tool. Okay, so this is pretty easy. Just take a nice sharp pair of scissors and the trick to this is you want to make a nice continuous cut. So don't do little snips. We want to get a nice clean line. Let's start back here. Just take off those corners so they don't rip your clay. I'm trying to work. Now some people also use credit cards for a harder rib. And I have some materials that I'm going to try to make uh, different ribs with. I've got a couple of plastic cream cheese tub lids, a yogurt container, and an old little seedling plant pot that I think I'm going to cut up and try to make harder rib or another scraper. But that's pretty much that. And I gave this one a little test. Let's see. Take the new one here. Okay. Make sure we're aiming in the right direction. Let's see. Yes, looks good. Okay. Straighten that out a little bit. Okay. So we can just take this rib, curve it towards yourself, and that works pretty nicely. Imagine if you've got like an old kind of tub mat or something for your drying rack, your dishwasher at home. I would take a look and see what you've got around the house. If there's anything you need that you can make into another rib if you forgot your rib at home or at school. Okay. And I'm sure I will have more tool tips soon as my lack of attention span <laughs> has probably made me forget something else at school. Okay, so anyway, brief video, easy tip. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.